But we begin tonight with parents' concerns about a cell phone tower that has been installed on top of a local elementary school. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. Doctors have warned that we don't have a complete understanding of how the radiation from cell phones and cell phone towers impact us. But some parents whose children attend Washington Elementary in Wyandotte say they are worried. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is sharing the anxiety they have with the antenna. The concerned parents of children here at Washington Elementary School in Wyandotte tell me they all use cell phones. They aren't against technology, but this cell phone antenna right on top of their children's elementary school is a different matter. They're concerned it could have negative health consequences. We might be able to voice it. These parents are united by one goal. They want to protect their children. My kids shouldn't be exposed to this. I have two little girls that go to Washington Elementary and, you know, when I hear about the, the levels of radiation that they're going to be exposed to on a daily basis, it, it's shocking. They say when they learned that a cell phone tower was being built on their children's school roof, they looked up whether it was safe. They found the American Academy of Pediatrics recommending parents limit children's cell phone use, calling for more research into how the non-ionizing radiation emitted by cell phones and cell phone antennas affects children's health. There needs to be more research, and that is concerning to me for my child and all the other children and the teachers and the pregnant teachers. These parents want the law changed to prevent these towers at schools around the state. 7 Action News reached out to the school district. Superintendent Catherine Cost told me in an email the FCC states there's no reason to believe that such towers could constitute a health hazard. T-Mobile is paying the district about $1,000 a month for the space and has complied with all federal, state and city requirements. She says the school board approved the deal years ago, back in 2018, which is before these parents had children in the district. I will remove my students from the district. You know, I'll go to a different district. We need this to be removed for the safety of our children. The school district sent out an email notifying parents there will be an informational meeting about this antenna at 630 Thursday night in the school cafeteria. In Wyandotte, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Thank you so much, Kim. 7 Action News reached out to T-Mobile about the school cell tower. They did not get back to us before our deadline.